This is a day that the Lord has made. Welcome everyone. My name is Vanessa. Today I am reading from Psalm 119 and it is from Resh, R-E-S-H. Look on my suffering and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your law. Defend my cause and redeem me. Preserve my life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek out your decrees. Your compassion, Lord, is great. Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faithless with loathing, for they do not obey your word. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. We are in times that it feels like are really bad. <laughs> the messaging that is coming out from people, from groups, and is being highlighted in the news or social media, wherever it is coming from. It just, it blows my mind. And it makes it very hard for me as a parent to guide my child because the news and every and groups and people are saying this is okay b is okay c is okay d is okay e is okay when when you're a person who follows jesus christ it's not okay i understand that we live in america we have freedom i understand god gave us free will so we can make our own choices. And I think my son said it so well because I was talking to him last night. He's like, mom, of course people can be gay, but he's like, why does the world have to revolve around it? <laughs> he's like, I'm straight. And it was just such so interesting the way he said it. I'm like, you're right, son. We can make our own choices, not only because we live in America, but also because the Lord gave us choices, but why does the world have to revolve around one choice? Ugh, it is so frustrating for me being a parent. If I didn't have a child, none of this would bother me because I know what is right and wrong because I read this Bible, the truth, where, where is the front? <laughs> I read the Bible, which is the truth every single morning and I talk to the man who's in control which is God every single day so I have no worries for myself for my soul I'm very worried for my son's soul though because he's he's 13 and he is still developing still grasping things and understanding and seeking for truth I tell him every day the truth is right here. It is difficult when you have people yelling about their point of view, I guess, is the best way for me to say it without saying it. I have family who do things that I don't agree with and I don't agree with because they don't align with what's in here in the Bible. I pray for them. If I see them, I tell them I love them, but I don't hang out with them. I don't congregate with them. And I think that's okay. That is okay. And that's a choice that I can make. Life is hard. <laughs> And if it was easy, it would be boring. I'm just going to end with saying I'm so grateful to the Lord for my life. I'm grateful for this journey. I'm grateful for the Bible. I'm grateful for this beautiful day that God created. <sighs> Remember, today is going to be what you make of it. I hope you like Please subscribe and I'll see you next week.